Hello students, welcome to Swarasar's classes. In this video, we are going to solve the Gate 2019 question paper statistics portion. So, we'll be beginning with the statistics portion with question number 17. So, here we have our question number 17 and let's see what question 17 says. So, it says the probability density function of the random variable, random vector x, y is given by. So, here we are, as you can see, we have been given a PDF of a random vector x comma y which is f x y where x y is equal to c where x uh, 0 greater than 0 less than x less than y less than 1 and 0 otherwise so in this condition where the condition is 0 x y 1 the value of this function will be equal to c so f y x comma y is equal to c for this condition now what we need to do is the value of c is equal to so basically we need to find the value of this c function so what can we do is simply we can differentiate this since this is a pdf not differentiate but we can simply integrate this function with respect to x and y and equate the uh, resultant with equal to 1 so we can just double integrate this function x comma y x comma y dx dy and simply equate this to 1 and now what will be the uh, limits so you need to be very care uh, careful while choosing the limits so what we can do is for x you can see the limits can be from 0 till y so x lies between 0 till y we have written dx first so the second limit will be for x which is 0 to y and for y what we need to do is we need to take from 0 till 1 because in limits we only take one variable since we have taken y over here we will take the limits for x which is from 0 till 1 uh, for y the limits for y will be from 0 till 1 so here you can see in first limit first derivative first integration will integrate it with respect to x so the constant is c and this is with respect to x from 0 to y dx dy is equal to 1 so c will come outside since it is a constant and we are simply left with the limits of y and x so integrating x we get since there is only dx so we will get a x and the limits are from 0 to y and again we have a dy left which is equal to 1 so we have c and integration 0 to 1 now in place of x the limits are y and 0 so what we'll do is y minus 0 so we are left with y dy is equal to 1 so further solving we will get c integration from 0 to 1 the integration of y so integration of y is nothing but y square by 2 integration with respect to y of y is y square by 2 and the limits are from 0 till 1 and this is ultimately equal to 1 so this will be c and here we have 1 square by 2 minus 0 square by 2 so this will be simply 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 so simply you can see the answer of equal to c is equal to 2 so our answer to this question will be c is equal to 2 now since we have not been given any option this is not an mcq type question so simply the value of c is equal to 2 will be the correct answer to this question now we will move on to our second question and after 17 we are going to solve question number 19 and in question 19 you can see let x1 and x2 be a random vector following bivariate normal distribution with mean vector 0 0 and variance x1 is equal to x2 is equal to 1 so the variance are same for both which is 1 and the mean is 0 comma 0 and the correlation coefficient rho where rho in mod is less than 1 so you need to understand what this basically means so this function means that the value of rho lies between minus 1 to plus 1 so this is the main range of rho which is mod 1 a uh, mod less than 1 so this is the range minus 1 to 1 now then the probability x1 plus x2 greater than 0 is equal to so we need to find what is the probability that the sum of both these random vectors uh, both these random variables is greater than 0 or positive so simply what we can do is we need to first uh, the expectation of x1 plus x2 so we can find the expectation of x1 plus x2 and since these are following by very normal we can simply write expectation x1 plus expectation of x2 and you can see the mean vector are 0 comma 0 so both these values are 0 so we will get a 0 over here now we need to find the variance x1 plus 
x2. So simply variance x plus y is variance of x plus variance of the second term plus 2 into covariance of the first term and the second term x1 comma x2. So this is the variance x1 plus x2 and in this we can write x1 plus x2 as it is and in place of covariance we can use the correlation coefficient which will be rho and under root we will have the variance of x1 and variance of x2. How have we got this? You know rho that is the correlation coefficient this is nothing but covariance of x1 comma x2 divided by root over variance of x1 variance of x2. So what we have done is we have multiplied this over here and we have got the value of covariance x1 plus x1 comma x2 as rho multiplied by root over variance of x1 into variance of x2. Now we know the values of these since variance of x1 is equal to variance of x2 is equal to 1. So this will be 1 again a 1 plus 2 rho in brackets we have 1 multiplied by 1 which is 1. So we have 2 plus 2 rho. So this can be written as 2 rho plus 1. So you have got the mean which is 0. The variance of the ultimate is 2 rho plus 1. So simply this says that it follows uh, bivariate normal. So what we can write you over here is x1 plus x2. Since we know that x1 comma x2 is a random vector which follows bivariate normal, we have found that x1 plus x2 also follows a uh, bivariate normal where the mean is 0 whereas the variance is 2 into rho plus 1. So this is the mean and variance. Now as you can see the mean is 0 and variance is 2 rho plus 1 which simplifies that the median of this median will obviously be equal to 0. So we have found the median to be 0 since the mean is 0 and it says that x1 plus x2 is greater than 0. Since median is 0 either the value can be greater than 0 or it can be less than 0. It can be negative or it can be positive and since the median is 0 that is the number of values to the right is equal to the number of values to the left since 0 is the median. So we can say that the probability that this is greater than so this is on the greater side is obviously half which is since uh, both have the same possibility so the probability will one will be divided into two parts and it will give half because it is uh, like you can take the example of a coin so the possibilities of a coin gives us head or tail since there are only two possibilities and the both possibilities have equal chances so the probability is half and half in the same case here also we can say that uh, both positive and negative since zero is in the median so the probability that x1 plus x2 can be positive as well as negative have the same chances. So the probability will be equal to half. So the answer will be probability that x1 plus x2 is greater than 0 is equal to half. So our answer is half that is 50% probability that x1 plus x2 can be greater than equal to greater than 0 not equal to. So the answer will be 1 by 2 or half. So I will like to end this video here you will find more solutions to gate 2019 statistics question paper in our further videos